Hey, I'm here to tell you about cheesesteaks. You know, it's really misunderstood on the West Coast. Fresh mozzarella and some um, sharp provolone, picante. Um, these two things put together are a powerful force. Of course, um, the heart of the matter is the meat. In this case, this is top round sold at a local uh, market. They call it beef scallopini. And then the supporting accompanists, the peppers, the onions. I even threw some jalapeno in there because I'm out west. But being out west, we can't really always get the best bread. Okay, what I have here is a half a baguette from the midwife and baker, Mac McConnell. He taught me about baguettes. Uh, he, he does a damn good job, but it ain't a hoagie roll. This is sourdough. Ah, it ain't, <laughs> good catch. It ain't um, a hoagie roll either. Hear that? That's what you want to hear. Notice I'm going pretty light on the meat tonight. I'm um, trying to lose some weight. Seasoning. Then the question is, what piece of bread should I use? I have enough stuff for one cheesesteak. Sourdough has the size, that loaf, but not the flavor. The baguette crust is a bit thick. And it's not right, but... Well, Mac McConnell was my teacher, so I am going with the baguette. Here's the move. It's the scoop. You try and get as much as you can. And then flip. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Some of these over here. Oh, oh, oh. oh baby. Mmm, forgot that chento, but we may use it later. Turn off all your jets. And enjoy a freaking cheesesteak. Mmm. A few refinements. Do not skimp on the oregano, especially if it's from Sicily. The purists will tell you that hot cherry peppers, chopped up, that's the right thing to have on a cheesesteak, and I agree completely, but I'm out here on the west, I'm living the cowboy life, and all I can get is cento hoagie spread. Mm. We'll see. I don't know about you, but I pretty much feel like a food coma is coming on strong when this is gone. Thanks for watching. Check you out next time for the uh, whatever it is we do on the griddle.